Hi, this is Danny D and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today is Thursday, the 27th week in Ordinary Time. And today is also the Feast of the Holy Rosary. Uh, it's so apt because Mary is the model of faithfulness, the very essence of this passage in this gospel today. As Elizabeth uttered, blessed is she who believed that what was spoken to her by the Lord would be fulfilled. Today's parable, uh, Jesus narrates the story about his friend coming at midnight and asking for three loaves of bread. And he says, even if they are about to sleep, if he does not get up because of friendship, he would do it because of his persistence. He then continues with, Ask, and you will receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. Just two points of reflection in this uh, particular gospel. You know, in this parable, Jesus teaches us how to approach God in time of need. Two words, be persistent. Professor of, uh, of hermeneutics, Douglas Woolley, talks about progressive persistence. You start with asking, a mere utterance of a request, ask. You progress to seeking. It is something that takes more from us, takes time, and it implies a greater sense of urgency. And knocking, which implies a deep sense of need almost in a position of begging but what's more important is the heart that does the asking seeking and knocking we will not even ask much more knock if we don't have real faith in this real god and i pray for that for each one of us that as we pray may we believe that there is a real god listening and then, for the, uh, the second point of reflection, is how Jesus compares the nature of God and the nature of man. The nature of man, uh, when we are already in a position of, of comfort, we are in our comfort zone, we have all our material needs. When somebody comes knocking, man would naturally want does, will not want to be bothered. But not God. God is infinite love and infinite compassion. He says, What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish? How much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? So whenever we get out of bed, that's the Holy Spirit and the God in us that gets us out of bed to reach out to the one in need. And I pray that we believe in this loving Father and may we have enough faith to be persistent in what we are praying for and to truly believe that if He is on our side, there's nothing in this world that should worry us. Have a happy, hope-filled weekend to all of you. God bless you.